everybody and their mother blamed Mitch Marner for this goal. And what I do want to point out is I don't care anything about the Toronto Maple Leafs. I do want to point out, though, Mitch Marner is not the only one to blame for this goal. Okay, so Fired there's there's two things it. I want to point out before you watch this is as is is whenever we went to an opposing team's play. So like whenever I go, let's say we travel to Air Force or there's one time where we went and played Michigan, the way that they have their rinks built, the boards and all of it, it's all different in every pregame skate yeah. things. We would wrap pucks. We would bounce pucks. We'd shoot from the blue line because oh, yeah. we wanted to see how the pucks react with the boards. We want we understood how it works. And it is so evident and clear on this play that the Bruins knew exactly what they were doing here. Pasternak knew exactly. And I think it what was it. Was it Lindholm that did this? Um, so, yeah, I want to point that out. And I also will watch it one time through, and then I'll slow it down the second time. And I want to point out everybody who's at fault on this, not just Marner. And Marner definitely has some blame in it as well. Okay, so watch the game. Yeah, it was Lindholm. And he ends it. Two minutes, two minutes into overtime, series Lazy. over, game over, season over. Okay, so let's let's Lazy. break this down. Laziness is the best thing. Flat-footed complacency, complacency, complacency. There's only one guy I will say here that did his job. One guy. Not him. This well, guy. He, I mean, enough. Yeah, he forces the dump in, but the dump in was this the guy. Yeah, he forced the dump. He took away the pass angle. He forced the dump in. Fine. What Lindholm did really good here is two things. He he played the puck where he knew it was going to bounce off. You can see posture. He knows exactly what's going to happen. But as a defenseman, when you ever anyone who's played hockey knows that when you are dumping the puck in, you're trying to keep it away from the goalie to prevent easy breakouts. Okay, because that goalie gets back there, he plays it out, he wraps yeah. it out, especially if guys are looking to get a line change. Now, here's the issue. We have one, two, three guys puck watching. And do you notice one other thing of a five on five right now? Yeah. Where's, Where's the, the other guy? guy? He's standing in front got of the him net. You got clear He's here off of screen. Marks. Flat footed, just and standing that would there, be Riley. not doing shit. Riley just puck watching. Look at him. Didn't gap up. They're all doing Didn't puck it. Watch. Oh, he! This guy up here just realizes that Pasta's already passed him, and he's so. This blocked. is Marner. So this is why Marner's getting blamed. Marner. Oh, this that is, is why Marner. Mitch yeah, he has. Blamed. He's already. Why is he getting there? So, and that is laziness. This is complacent. This is Nylander. So Nylander right here. He's not even. He's looking. just staring at the puck. He looks like he's taking. So we got right? all a bunch of puck watchers right now. Okay, Riley is beyond flat-footed. What he was doing, I have no idea. So flat-footed, turned away from where the puck was. Back. Didn't turn towards the puck. Yep, turned his mm -hmm. back. Because if he would have turned to it, he would have seen. He would have seen. He would have seen pasta. pasta. And he would have been in the but closer, and he would have been in a better position to come around right. and try At to. At least stop what him. he could have done is taken a good penalty. He could have tripped pasta up, tied him up, interfered yeah. something. Yeah. At this point, you can see Mitch Marner's trying to get on his horse because he's like, "Yeah, I'm my guy. My guy's he's like, beating oh, me. Oops, I screwed up. I got two flat-footed defensemen." And we got Nylander and La La Land just staring. Stick up, does has no idea yeah. who's coming behind him, doesn't know who's coming in. So we're going to continue watching. Look at Nylander. Has not a single time turned to see if there's anybody else, anybody else around him. Nope. To see. If, now, granted, it wasn't needed, but this is the point where uh, Riley realized that he was beat flat-footed. Oh, no. Mitch Marner's... Finally deciding to get on his horse, but now he's just gliding in. He's like, he's it's coasting. Over. He's been gliding since above uh -huh. the top of the circle. And then no fault here. I mean, goalie I mean, wise, it's it, that's, goalie wise for Samsonov. That, for Samsonov, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because he didn't even know until like noon this day he was going to be playing. Uh, Wool, the guy who was playing, who was just doing incredible for uh, the the Leafs the past two games before this, uh, was injured. So. Sam Stoff didn't know he was playing today, so I will give him the benefit of the doubt of not knowing how that puck was going to bounce out. However, it's it's overtime. It's overtime. I don't care. He, but see, it's not he's his gotta fault. He's got to be out you of this net a little bit yeah, more, too, get, to play he gets this. Scored. Yeah, he could try to play it, but, I mean, it, okay, the fault here is the four guys that are behind Pasta that played, that, that played right. lazy. 
I'm sorry, but if your goalie takes you in overtime and in a tied one to one, it's it, it's right. ridiculous. But I think the I think the craziest thing here is if you did that from the red line a hundred times into the corner, it probably comes out of there like that less than yeah. ten. So you got to look at it. Also, they're in terrible position, but it wasn't. That was it, that was pretty freaking lucky on how that puck pops right out there. Obviously, they practiced. Obviously, they knew what they were doing, but the odds of executing that. Right, and they something. did it flawlessly. But there's a lot of things that could have prevented it being this flawless. If you have Samsonov off here a little bit to hit this, if you have Riley not being flat-footed, right, whether he wasn't all in play or not, that's fine. But it's like getting your ass back for that puck, turning towards the puck, turning away from the puck is a wild thing as a defenseman to do. Mitch Marner not being oh, yeah. complacent for the time he was to get absolutely torched by one of the best goal scorers in the nation, in Pasenak, and then whatever the hell Nylander's doing out here in La La Land. He's just yeah. stayed in there. I, go back, watch, watch Riley, watch Riley when the on the zone. He's not even looking to see his his side cover his side of the ice. Right. So he probably thought right here is getting dumped. He never moved back up in. See, stop right here, right here. He like you say, he turns this way, but he's looking this way. Not once does he check to see if there's anyone coming. He's up got the no. He has no. Idea. I mean, wouldn't you be doing? He that? has no idea that pasta's right here. And then again, I want I just want this time. Don't watch anything but Nylander right here. Nothing else but Nylander the whole time. 